Ha. Huh. It's me again. I'm back. Hey, so, um, I'm the worst YouTuber. Um, I'm probably not even considered a real YouTuber. Um, because I literally made one video and was like, bye. Um, no, but I am sorry for, like, the few, the people that, um, watch my first video and then like we're expecting another one. I'm really sorry about that. Um, so today I'm just gonna catch you guys up on like what's been going on in my life. So it is 2.44 p.m. and um, I didn't go to school today. Like I had a speech to make yesterday in my required public speaking class. And I was talking about the five love languages which is like a concept that I am super passionate about and can like talk all day about because I like love talking about relationships and like a minute into my speech I completely froze up I forgot three I forgot two of the five love languages and like I just literally forgot everything <laughs> and it was so embarrassing and I was just looking at everyone's face and everyone's face was just like cringing and I was just like this is the worst time I'm gonna get a terrible grade and yeah which is so weird because like I totally feel comfortable like talking to strangers talking in groups big and small like I could have been standing up there like having like a big discussion like answering questions and been completely fine like I don't have an issue talking to like professionals or like professors or like anybody but I guess like public speaking just like isn't <laughs> my thing um so that was terrible and then I had just like a really busy day and this has just been like my hell week since like last Monday so like it's been my hell week and a half um school just really picked up out of nowhere like with exams and like things that were due and stuff like that so Last night I finished a good chunk of everything that needed to be done. So today is like the first day that I kind of like got to breathe. But like yesterday was just like, I just wanted to like, let me just go back to what my day has been. Um, this morning I woke up at 7 because I went and I took one of um, the girls that I know to like the medical center because she went and got like a free flu shot. Um, so I had to wake up at like 7.30. I didn't go to bed till 1 so like. I came back from that, I had some waffles, watched some YouTube, and like went to sleep, and then I didn't wake up until like 1, <laughs> and then, so basically I've been in my pajamas, like, ever since last night. I just changed shirts because I didn't want you guys to think I'm a swab, even though I am. I don't know what else has been going on in my life. What's been going on in your life? Comment down below the craziest thing that's happened to you in your week this far, thus far. Um, I'm excited because tomorrow night I'm off from work, so I'm either going to go out, hang out with friends, or fall asleep at 9 p.m. My face has, like, been really weird. Like, see that? And then, like, on my forehead I, like, have all these dots, so if you've ever had these, like, crunchy little, like, pimples and, like, you got rid of them and, like, know how, just, like, let me know. Put in the comments down below because I'd really like to know because I'm over it so I think like after I made my first video I posted like on my snapchat quest like a post asking people that ask me questions and I never got to those because I only got like five people to ask me questions so I see y'all y'all aren't responding to my stuff um so I'm gonna answer the ones that I have now and then I'll just talk about myself and see maybe if these questions like lead to any type of stories time. Okay. First question I'm gonna start off with favorite childhood memory. Um this one's always hard because I feel like when I was a kid I was not like in the mind of a kid. Like I feel like like, my brain had to be mature to keep up with, like, what was going on, like, around me. Like, I grew up around adults. Like, my brother played, like, baseball and basketball. So, like, 
on the weekends and like throughout the week and stuff like after I went to school and like during our free time we were always at games so I was always having to sit with like the parents and stuff like that so I always had to like behave um so this is from SeaWorld um I fell forward on a metal seat like you know metal bleachers like how they have an edge I fell forward and busted my head open on the edge of that. Basically, all of my childhood memories are me just like getting hurt or like embarrassing things happening to me because those are things that I actually remember. Like I remember I like was holding a dog, like a little chihuahua at a baseball game and it like jumped out of my hands and like ran away and I was like four and I cried because I felt so bad like and everyone was like looking at me and I just felt so bad. That was really sad. Like, it sounds like I really had a bad childhood. Um, um, okay, next question. Um, top five favorite songs. Okay, so this is a hard one. There's this artist, he's kind of weird, and he looks really weird, but, like, I love this song. It's called Gum Toe, Gum Toe and Soul. It's by Gus Dapperton. I'm going to, like, put it down below. Um, it's just kind of, like, funky and like weird and it's just like has a really good beam it just reminds me of like summertime or like springtime it's like happy time it's called mariner's apartment complex there we go um it's just like really cool um i love lana del rey um she's my mom but like whatever sorry mom sorry pets okay so i know ariana grande's like album dropped like like a month ago but like there's a song on maybe more than a month ago i don't know time is just like mm -hmm really confusing to me um that's called breathe in it's a very like it's kind of like a very like song you can relate to and like the whole concept of it is like life is hard but you just gotta keep going this is like just a forever top five star girl interlude off the star boy album by the weekend is literally the song that i kind of want to like them to play at my funeral Okay, so I've been listening to like the neighborhood a little bit more and like there's a song I found over the summer It's called void So yeah, that's five of my songs I'm gonna like link them all down below and I'm also gonna link my Spotify account because I have some pretty fire playlists and What is your favorite hobby? So I think lately my hobbies have been Taking care of myself like pampering myself and um i guess like journaling a little bit when i say like taking care of myself i mean like making sure i have like time to take a bath or like a, like a bath like a bath bomb or a face mask or like painting my toenails or like taking breaks from like my work or like um i don't know just making sure i feel good on the inside because all the things that I'm doing, it's very easy to fall into a trap of like dangerous like behavior and like dangerous thoughts and stuff like that. So I try to stay positive and I try to make sure like my heart and my mind and like everything is like taken care of. Although one thing that I'm not taking care of is my body. I really haven't worked out since like March or April. For journaling, I have kept a diary since I could write. Because I feel like I understand myself more when I'm writing and I feel like I can understand what I'm feeling more when I like when I'm writing. So I just like journal a ton. Okay, how did you and Julian meet? My freshman year in high school, uh, I was in pre-AP geometry and Julian was in that class too. And then one day I was at the teacher's desk because I was probably failing. Like a tall boy just goes, let me act it out. A tall boy just goes. Hi, Gabby. Hi. But yeah, that's how we met. What's your favorite store to shop at? A super Target, not just a normal Target, but super Target. Because I just feel like super Target gets it. How did I meet my best friend? Um, I'd say I have like a good amount of best friends. Serena and Beth, I met Serena at work. Um, we like, we probably worked together for like a few months before we even started talking because I always thought she hated me because like I don't know I just thought she hated me you know um but then one day we just started 
being mean to each other sarcastically. And, like, she says that she didn't, didn't know if I was kidding or serious. And, like, I felt the same way. But good. I think it might have started because I remember people would always get us confused from behind because her hair kind of looks not, I don't know, kind of looks a little similar. Well, hers was a little darker, I think, when people really got us confused. And then one day I went to her house with my friend Kara and... Beth was there, and Beth used to work at Chick-fil-A in the time at Beth. And then we were inseparable since junior year, probably. And when I met Serena and Beth, my life completely changed. And I kind of felt like I w a part of me like was awoken, and I kind of understood what friendship was more when I met them. So I'm really lucky that I have them. Elena. Elena? My friend Elena. Okay, so it's kind of funny how we met. There was this... It was in seventh grade... I was friends with this girl, Maeli, and we were in track, and we were, like, in the cafeteria waiting for, like, the buses to come and stuff, and I went to the bathroom, and I left my phone, like, on the table, and Maeli was, like, there, and she took my phone, and she took a picture of Elena, who I didn't know, and set it as my screensaver, and then I was, like, I picked up my phone, and, like, Maeli and Elena were right there, and I was, like, no, it was Elena, and ever since then, me and Elena have been, like, really, really close friends. Um, so that's how I met my best friends. What's the worst injury I've had? Having my heart broken. Just kidding. Um, I don't know if it's considered an injury, but, like, the worst pain I've ever been in was, like, when I got a UTI really bad. So that wasn't fun. Um, pee after sex, ladies biggest lesson lesson from last year so this was like over the summer when i was asked this so i'm a little lacking so i'm assuming this is from like last school year um last school year i think i really learned that i need to just take some time for myself sometimes because if you don't you will literally be a bitch i used to think I needed to be this person that was like super strong and like super independent and always had my like shit together and like never could complain because I felt like complaining and like I felt like complaining and like needing help like was a sign of weakness um so I just had to stop and like slow down sometimes that's what I learned last year comment what you're going to be for Halloween because I need ideas. I think I have an idea and I'm pretty sure, but I feel like I should get like one more backup just in case. So comment down below where you're going to be for Halloween or what you think I should be for Halloween. So yeah, um, I don't know if anybody's going through anything, but I just feel the need to end this video on a motivational note saying keep going. Um, I've been having to self-motivate a lot, and I know it's really hard, especially at this age. It's really hard to find motivation. So I think whoever finds themselves in a difficult situation, just keep going because it'll all be worth it one day. Um, if you watch to this point, thank you so much. Thanks for being loyal and not giving up on me. Um, so yeah, I love y'all. Okay, I'll see you guys next video, hopefully. Maybe it will be like six months away, but I'll see you then.